Thank you, everyone. It's time to get into our second conversation now. The exchange rate between the Nigerian Naira and the British Pound reach, reaches about 2,000 Naira. And it's important to delve into the factors that have led to this situation. Despite firm declarations against dollar hoarding and policy interventions of the federal government, the Naira continues a downward trend as the exchange rate uh, was exchanging for around 6 1,690 Naira per dollar earlier today at the parallel market. Well, here's the big question. What are the factors responsible for free fall of the local currency? Well, that's the cross of our conversation in this second part. And I'm joined now by the MD CEO, APT Securities and Funds Limited, Mr. Kasimu Garaba Kofi. He joins me virtually now. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Kofi, for your time. What do you suppose is responsible for the free fall of the Naira, despite the federal government's intervention policy? Well, I think what caused the situation we find ourselves, we jump into simply exchange rate without taking the necessary precautionary measures. As a result of that, we have a huge gap between the demand and supply which we are yet to address. Today, that gap still keep on hovering to date. And the quantum of US dollar supply into Nigeria is far below the expectation. And therefore, this brings scarcity of the dollar. And when you have the scarcity of the currency, the only thing that will turn is the price to go up. Sadly, the Nigerians lack confidence in the Naira currency. Therefore, they go into U.S. dollar speculation. So every other person wants to acquire dollar, not necessarily because you want to import something or you want to do a travel outside, but just mere speculation. And because of this, now the exchange rate keep on continue going up to indefinite. And there is the need to take the necessary measures to stop speculation on the U.S. dollar, or else every other person will find it at, not at ease. Well, it, it, I, I get your point, uh, Mr. Kofi. Um, in recent time, we've seen you know, President Bola Tinubu take steps targeted at stabilizing the currency and restoring fiscal discipline. And these steps are expected to impart the economy. So what do you think is missing? Well, what is missing, the monetary policy has dashed out more than five policy from January 8th. But the monetary policy is not good enough to stop the speculation. We need fiscal policy. And the government needs to take the necessary measures to ensure that mere speculation on the U.S. dollar is stopped. And until you stop this mere speculation, the crisis and the problem of the Naira will continue. Well, the, the Naira, like all that currencies, is, you know, is floated where demand and supply decide the actual rate, isn't it? So what do you suppose is the current state of the FX market? And what more can be done to close the gap between the official window and parliament? Because if you look at it, that's that earlier today, Monday, the 19th of February, the Naira is exchange, exchanging for, for the dollar at about 1,690. Speak to us about that. Well, what all this tell you, first and foremost, what are the major sources of U.S. dollar to the federal government of Nigeria? is sell of crude oil. Remember, in those days that we are selling 2 million and 2.2 .2 million barrels per day. Today, we are selling less than 1.5 million barrels. And then forget, more than 50% of it is already contract out. We have received the dollar in advance of this delivery. So therefore, the token dollar we are taking is here very small, and it's not good enough. Had it been the federal government can emphasize production and see that we can increase our production from 1.5 to 1 to 2 million barrels per day, that will give you an average of half a million barrels per day. If you multiply it with the average price of $80 per barrel, 
that will give you how much? It will give you about uh, 40 million dollars per day. If you multiply it by 10 days, 400. If you multiply it by months, you will get 1.2 billion. If we can get this additional inflow into the country, that will at least relieve the speculation on this dollar. That is one. The other issue is the Nigerian in diaspora. The Nigerian is diaspora, they are the one that uh, pump dollars into. But the grants, the Western Money Union, most of them, they divert this US dollar sent by the Nigerian in diaspora. Rather, they will find a way to fall to this at the uh, uh, abroad. So most of the Nigerian in, uh, in Nigeria they're supposed to get their dollar, they end up getting their go on the higher rate. And therefore they are contented with this. So the inflow that coming from diaspora is nowhere coming into the Nigeria. And this is not good for the country. Mm. So we need to take measures to ensure that all inflow reach the country so that it will relieve some of the demand. Sadly, speculation. Not any country survive on mere speculation. And what is happening, you know, is a mere speculation. The price of dollar in the morning is a different price dollar by 10, by 12, by noon, by 4, by 6. Almost every hour, the price change because people are going into speculation. And these, we need a fiscal policy by the federal government where they will advise any other person that call any other currency than Naira and hold more than five ten thousand dollars for more than a week is turned to pocket it. Mm. And if the federal government mean business for this, anybody they give them a that within maybe one or two weeks take your money to the bank, or else you pocket it. Mm. I tell you, if they do that, a lot of dollar will be flow into the bank, and you will be surprised that the dollar hold by the people. Mm. So for failure to do that, the federal government should have insist anybody that they caught with the dollar he pocket it. And they have all the information that those hiding. So start with the big guys. At least take one to three percent in each state. Collect the dollar and pocket it. The rest will serve as a lesson. And the mere buying dollar for mere speculation will go. And therefore you will see more supply into the market and the price will crash. And this is not monetary policy. This is a fiscal policy which is supposed to be emphasized by the federal government, but yet to do so. Okay. So, so, so you are suggesting that the federal government, from the fiscal part um, aspect, can step in to complement what the CBN is already doing. But don't forget also that there is also the aspect of demand and supply. Because if you say that the government can arrest or forfeit, uh, perhaps the individual can forfeit their own dollar that they are holding. You know, so where is the place of you know, demand and supply in the market? You see, we are telling you that demand is prompted by the speculators. And the speculators they are not buying dollar to import anything. They are buying dollar to keep, to subguide their money because the Naira value keep on falling. So instead of holding Naira, they are holding dollars. So what we are saying, not any country survive with these tendencies. It doesn't matter. Whoever decided to go that, having given one week notice to take their dollar to banks or you pocket it. So if they take their dollar to the bank, CBM must know. And therefore, already there is a policy that the bank cannot hold it during the necessary time. If your demand is mere speculation, and you have seen Mr. A, B, C, have pocket his money because the federal government have seen it, and the federal government should put incentive. Nobody hide dollar without others seeing him. So put an incentive five to ten percent for whoever tell us a person that keep raw cash dollar, and we go and cut that dollar, you get between five to ten percent. If they apply this. Believe me sincerely, a lot of people that are hiding dollar, their name will be revealed out and they will check it and extract this dollar and take it back to the bank and pocket it. Billions of dollars are within the country doing nothing. Mere speculation. 
if you address this, you will see that the demand. And you go back to the demand. Whoever demand for dollar must justify why he is demanding for it, not mere dear speculation. If they apply this, now this need fiscal policy. If they apply this, I can tell you it will change. All right. Let, let me come in a bit, Mr. Kufi. Yes. J just a moment. I, I know, yes, the role of an individual, maybe someone who is, you know, carrying a dollar in their portfolio and all of that and trying to hold it. I understand that point. I also understand, if you recall, uh, the CBN, when appearing before the Senate, they talk about how that Nigeria need to cut down on their appetite for the dollar. How critical is this call from, from the CBN? Do you think that Nigerians can do without requesting or demanding for dollar, especially the way economy is structured now? Because it looks as everything is dollarized. Yes, indeed, it can be so. But even this one, you need fiscal policy. First, today, Nigeria are eating rice made in Nigeria. Without the federal government intervention, we wouldn't have reached there. If you open your door, everybody will bring any import to this. And you didn't need Naira to import anything into the country. You need dollar. Stop it. Today, go to the market. Go and see in the tile. Most of the tile and the granite are being used in Nigeria are made in Nigeria. So every other aspect that you can think of, you can get it. Why is Nambote refinery not refining PMS? Uh, petroleum premium uh, mode? Simply because there is heavy subsidy to it and you cannot make a profit. But let the federal government decide to sell the crude oil in Naira to Nambote and Nambote sell his product in Naira. You will see them production into PMS I will stop importing premium spirit, that is BMS, into the country, and that will save our dollar export. Mm. So you can apply so many things, but you need not only monetary policy, you need fiscal policy. The government must turn to it and to ensure that unnecessary demand is cut off. Recently, the National Assembly acquired big cut, SUV. Why can't we restrict to the SUV assembly in Nigeria and buy with Naira? Any other SUV that must be imported, we stop it. When the Naira is more than a dollar, go and check. The official government, they are using not more than 545 Pijo. Pijo is the official car, and nobody rides beyond that. And the Pijo and Volkswagen were all available. The tires we are using are, were produced by Dunlop and uh, Machines, uh, actually. You can go back to this. And this is fiscal policy, not only monetary. We have the population, we have the market. Whatever we are importing, if we insist, we only restrict ourselves to the local, they will come here and produce it as they produce the rest. All right. There are concerns, Kofi, there are concerns about this issue that you just raised now, which is the issue of continuous dollarization of the Nigerian economy and also the call for the need to domesticate production and productivity because it will seem a lot of Nigerians now than ever they want to hold more dollars than the Naira. Why do you think this is so and how can it be curtailed? Because it's critical to the Nigerian economy. It is so because, one, there is no policy that give confidence of the Naira. And therefore, Naira keep on devaluing. And nobody wants to hold any currency that keep on losing value. That is one. Two, the government must insist and emphasize every transaction that conduct in Nigeria, which in Nigeria must be in Naira. Even Nigerian players that go to play outside the country should be paid in Naira. So that we raise the value process. And any other pricing outside Naira will not be accepted, and the government will ensure nobody price his rent, his property, whatever in Nigeria, in any other currency than Naira. Secondly, the government must ensure anybody of all BM5,000 of any other currency will forget it. And anybody that gives the information about this will gain 10% of whatever the federal government requires. Uh, 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 
force and make it as a matter of policy. If they try it at least a minimum of 3 to 5 percent in each local state, I can tell you more people will be revealed, more dollars will be recovered, and many people that give the information will be better off and things will fall down. Recently, the Kano state government decided to receive the warehouses of the food. Within 24 hours, the price started coming down. So you cannot just rely on the monetary policy. You need to apply fiscal policy. I read it that the governor of Kassina also passed the same bill for warehouse. These products are there with us, but because we have Nigerians who only cares for the same, the price of the money is different in the afternoon, different in the evening for the same product. Well, they got it at far cheaper cost. But they will tell you replacement cost. And this is not allowed, and this will not be accepted unless we want to run the Naira down completely. I'm going to let you go in a moment, Mr. Kofi. Let's talk about the NPC meeting, uh, which is up for next week. I mean, and is the first NPC meeting under the new management led by uh, Mr. Yemi Kadosu. Speak to us about your expectations. What are uh, issues that may likely come forward at that meeting? For me, I see this one nothing more than the what happened during the uh, Jan uh, Muhammad Buhari regime. Appoint ministers for action, you did not do it until after six months. Thereafter, we did not see any change. MVC is supposed to fall every other month. Having appointed September did not fall, October did not fall, November did not fall, January did not fall, I do not emphasis see anything different. Except that we play with the gallery and this is the consequences. Had it been the MPC were in full control, we wouldn't have gone to the situation we are here today. Because they are all to advise on monetary policy. I'm holding this for six months since August last year or July last year. It's not good for the country and it's not good for us. And this is the consequences we are paying. So we hope to see them meeting sitting down, but it's too bad, and it's too late. But, however, never late than ever. Mm. I think you just have to leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. Managing Director, Chief Executive of SIPT Securities and Phones Limited. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Krufi. Thank, Thank you for having me.